Hey guys, it's Stephanie from the blog thefarmhousemom.com and today I'm going to show you how to mix Prohibit for goats. So I will put a disclaimer on here. This is how I do it for my goats. I'm not saying that you should do it for your goats, but this is just what I do. So um, I mix one cup of Prohibit with a quart of water and then you can find the dosage at um, Cornell University and I will link that website below um, and also on my website you can see the chart of what dosage you should do for each weight. So um, I am going to just to be really precise I'm going to measure my water and so I have a little scale here and I'm going to measure out the density of four cups of water. The reason that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to be giving this to a baby and you need to be really, really precise on um, prohibit giving prohibit to babies because underdosing is always dangerous because it just creates like a super worm and then overdosing can kill a baby. For adults, not that big of a deal, but for babies it is. So um, what people will do is they will double the dose. Um, so double the water. And then, so instead of doing four cups, you'll do eight cups. Um, and then they'll just double the dose and it gives more margin for error. But I'm just gonna be really precise and measure it out. So um, I'm looking at how much four cups of water weighs and it's 2.085 pounds. So I am going to have it on my scale here. So here's my scale and it's pounds and ounces. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour my four cups of water Okay, so we've got 2.02 and we need 2.085. All right, so I need a little bit more water. Okay, so I've got 2.085 pounds of water. All right, so I have my water, I have my packet of prohibits. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour my prohibit in. It does kind of smell a little bit, so don't inhale. So we're good with our prohibit. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up. And I'm gonna use something that I'm going to throw away. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna stir it up. I'm gonna go out and weigh my little goat exactly um, to see what he weighs. And then if you look at Cornell, you will be able to see this chart and you will be able to see how much, um, how much you should be able to give your goat. So this is um, good for longworm, barber pole, things like that. I wouldn't give it to a pregnant goat um, early on in the trimester, so. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go dose our goat real quick if you wanna come with me. All right, we've got our little fella. I'm gonna put some food down for him. There you go, buddy. There you go. Hey, you want some food? Here you go. You want some food, buddy? Here you go. Here you go. He's looking that he's coming out at 29 pounds. So we got him weighed 29 pounds. All right, so looking at my paper, at 30 pounds prohibit, he's gonna get 3.3 mils. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up real quick. So I have this sealed real tight. I'm gonna shake it up. So this is my medicine area of my milk room. We're in the middle of remodeling it so hopefully next time you see it it's going to be you know drywalled and it'll have everything ready so 
I'm gonna go ahead and use, just to be precise, I'm gonna use three a three mil, um, and I'm just gonna do a couple lines down. So I've just been giving shots long enough that I know what um, point three will look like. So, all right, let's go ahead. Looks like it's nice and shook up. I'm going to be careful not to touch it. A little bit more. All right, it's pretty much 3.3, .3, so. So I've got little fella up here on the counter and we're gonna go ahead and there you go. He's not real thrilled about it, but that's his 3.3 .3 mils of Prohibit. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on real tight and I'm gonna put it in my little refrigerator and you have, I believe it's 90 days before it expires. So it was $22 at the feed store. Um, and I am pretty sparing about using the Prohibit. Um, but like I said, I'll have the link to the Cornell goat chart, but And before we go, I forgot if you are um, Using prohibit you might want to give them a little bit of vitamin B So I am going to give this orally. I'm not gonna I'm going to use the syringe to get it out of the bottle, but I'm just going to give it to him in his mouth. So, I think I'm going to give him about two mils. I'm going to go ahead take this off. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, you need to get your vitamin B. There you go. Good job. Good job, buddy. Yeah, that's tough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And like I said, you can get um, the dosage chart off of my website, thefarmhousemom.com. I will have that linked um, from the Cornell Vet um, website. So thanks a lot. Have a great day.